And Tom Brady needs to learn a new offense. Clyde Christensen, the Buccaneers quarterbacks coach, said recently, I think what we'll see here in Tampa is Bruce Arians' offense with a Tom Brady influence. Bruce wants to keep the offense the same. Tom has been terrific as far as saying, just tell me what you want to do. And honestly, there's a lot of carryover from all these offenses. It's just what you call certain things. We're looking forward to seeing how he can influence the offense. And this is what we expect. You know, there was a theory making the rounds as Tom Brady's free agency approached that he was going to be like Peyton Manning and want to go somewhere where Basically, he walks through the door and says, here's right. how we're going to run the offense. And that's never the way Brady's been. Brady's a product of the Patriot way. Do your job. Tell me what my job is, and I'll do it better than anyone. But it's not for me to figure out my job. It's for you to tell me what my job is. Yeah, that's right. That That's the culture he was raised in. I mean, so he, he doesn't know that Peyton Manning way of, you know, adding influence on a daily basis. And again, again, Tom Brady could do that. He certainly can. He's got enough knowledge and and terminology and different concepts in his brain uh, to be to be that type of quarterback. But yeah, ultimately, we know Bruce Arians, he, he thinks his offense is special, and it is. It's one of the more creative, aggressive offenses in football over the last 10 years. I mean, the results speak for themselves. And, you know, you add that, Mike, and, and we know the no risk it, no biscuit, push the ball down the field, aggressive nature, along and accompany, accompany it with – you know, at, uh, the, the Edelman, Wes Welker type plays that Brady ran in New England, let alone a few other things that I'm sure they'll do, like we, we talked about yesterday or the day before with Gronkowski, to where I do think you'll see a nice blend. I still think the meat and potatoes of the offense is going to be Bruce Arians, but you're definitely going to see some of those plays that, hey, Brady feels comfortable in them. Brady knows these type of plays better than Bruce Arians and, and Byron Leftwich. He could teach them. Uh, a little nuances about the plays and they're great ways to get easy completions. And, you know, Brady really knows how to execute those type of plays because he's mastered them for years and years. Yeah. I think Bruce Arians has also suggested at some point since Tom Brady joined the team that he realizes Tom Brady recognizes by looking at the defense, what's going to be there, what's not going to be there. And even though Arians wants the ball to be pushed down the field, he will defer to Tom Brady's judgment that in a certain play, in a certain circumstance, the best thing to do is to fire off the short pass. But, you know, who is going to be that Edelman Welker in this offense? We talk about all the weapons, and you've got Chris Godwin and Mike Evans on the outside. you got the tight ends and O.J. Howard and Cameron Brayton. Now Rob Gronkowski's there. Who's going to be the Edelman for Tom Brady, Chris? Well, I think if you look at Chris Godwin, first off, I would say that's the guy more more than likely that's going to pull that off, right? Uh, you got Gronkowski running down the middle of the field, Mike Evans running something deeper or at least deeper down the field than a guy like Chris Godwin. And Godwin, you know, very good route runner. Uh, when catches the ball, can get right up field and make things happen. So I, I would expect him to be target number one as far as that is concerned or that role is concerned. Uh, I, I think he's the guy, Mike. I do. I don't know. I'm, I'm just sitting here, too, looking at the rest of the roster just to make sure if there's any other names I've missed that I think fit that cr criteria. But I think ultimately it is going to be Chris Godwin. And, you know, the big thing, too, is with their offense, you know, the way it looks right now, it does seem like they're going to be in a lot of two, two tight end type sets, which would leave two receivers on the field, one running back, whatever that may be. So uh, I think when you just have that set of personnel in there, you know, I, I think it's Godwin all the way to fill that role. And Godwin, by the way, second among all receivers in slot receiver yards. So there you go. Year. But but then again, then again, we can't rule out that a month or so from now, once Julian Edelman is a member of the Buccaneers, we'll hear him say, I've had the Buccaneers playbook for the last month, like Rob Gronkowski jokingly did a couple of weeks back. But either way, they'll get it figured out with Tom Brady having someone who becomes that security blanket when he looks at the defense. And he said this three years ago. He's got three more football seasons of experience beyond the point where he said in the aftermath of Super Bowl 51, there's nothing you can show me I haven't already seen. I know what you're going to do. I look at the defense. I know what I see, and I know what's going to be there. 
And yes. uh, whether it's Godwin or anyone else on any given play, he's going to know. And, you know, the problem, though, is, Chris, without having these guys working directly together, you don't develop that that body language, the hand signals, Definitely. The, the look, you know, the demeanor. I mean, all the little clues that become sure. a, a, an unspoken language as to what the quarterback wants a receiver to do. Yeah, no, I, th that's that's gone by the wayside for now. And you're not, yes, that's going to be something that quarterbacks and receivers are going to have to work really hard at once they do get in training camp, whenever that is, to spend extra time after practice working on, you know, conversating. And th that's going to be a big thing for Tom Brady here. You know, one, you know, you talk about, hey, his mastery of knowing where the ball goes and all that stuff. One of the great things, and this is another thing I think Brady will infuse in this offense, once he especially gets the terminology down and really learns how to speak the language of Bruce Arians' offense and do all of that. But the other thing, Mike, when you talk about his ability to know where he wants to go with the ball before the snap, uh, it, it, you know, where the ball is snapped, is in New England, this is one of the great things about their offense, too. You know, not a ton of check-with-me type plays in New England. They got all-purpose plays. Well, all-purpose plays. And what I mean by that is so many offenses in football go, hey, if there's two deep safeties, we want you to play this concept on the left side. If there's one deep safety, we want you to play the concept on the right side, right? So there's kind of like, hey, this works against two deep type coverages, and this one works against one deep type coverages. Well, in New England, and this was something I learned playing for Josh McDaniels that I was amazed at, you know, they game plan and they're so creative – that they have plays that what they say are all purpose, where Brady can get up there and just go Omaha, blue, go. And they know the play that they've designed for the week is going to work against all coverages, and they don't want their quarterback to be fooled by, ooh, is it one safety? Is it two safety? Oh, wait, it was a late rotation, and they tricked me. And they will go, no, Tom, no matter what the coverage is, we want you to look to the left at the X receiver, and you give him his time to get open, even if you know the coverage isn't meant for him. And then they're going to have, he's going to go across the board, across the field with receivers coming into his vision as he goes across the field, where that is another element that I think is going to be very effective in the Bruce Arians offense. And Brady's going to try to get that implemented because he knows, like you're saying, Mike, you give me some of those plays that I had in New England that were all purpose. I'm going to get up there, Bruce Arians, and make the right decision every time, I promise you. And, you know, I, I think Bruce is going to like that. And one of the keys is going to be, as we were saying, working together with his new teammates. And none of us have ruled out, and I think we all suspect that at some point they will get together somewhere, especially now as we see, right or wrong, the restrictions loosening in many states, a trip to Montana with all of the various pass catchers getting together with Tom Brady at his place up there and spending plenty of time figuring out how to connect, how to communicate non-verbally on the football field and what each guy likes, what he doesn't like, how he catches the ball, how Tom Brady throws the ball, because they have to adjust too. Mike Evans, O.J. Howard, Cameron, Brait, Chris Godwin, they're used to catching passes from Jameis Winston. They have to adjust to Tom Brady. That's all part of the process. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.